Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna understand and explore how to use and how to apply the custom CSS when you're using the block editor theme, which is FSE theme, and when we are using a classic theme. So first, we're gonna explore when we are using a block editor theme, how to apply custom CSS, and how to use custom CSS in a best way so that it will not going to interfere with any other existing CSS inside your WordPress theme or your existing plugin. So without further any delay, let's jump into my computer. So to apply CSS, we are going to create a new page here in my WordPress. So I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to type here custom CSS. And let's add column here. So let's add three column full width and I have created several pages here inside this website because I just completed a complete series about 10 days Gutenberg challenge so if you haven't watched that if you're interested to watch the 10 days Gutenberg series challenge then you can find in my here on left and right side on eye icons and into the descriptions as well and now if I take a look at here you can see day 9 day 8 let's take a look at day 9 or day 10 so this is the day 10 videos and where I have shared with you how to create this kind of sections and a lot of things. So you can go and take a look at if you wanted to learn about these features. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this page from here and I'm going to copy this layout. I'm not going to uh, update this page or edit here. Just copy and paste it here. That's it. So we are going to apply the CSS and add some styling here using CSS. Now let's go back uh, our editor and let's reduce if you take a look at here uh, there is some border color and the background color i'm going to remove the background color and also i'm going to reduce all the styling that is available here for this part so as you can see there is no styling at all so what i'm going to do i'm going to apply some styles using css here i'm not going to teach you the css but rather than i'm going to apply the css and I believe you know how to use and how the CSS works. And that's why you are here. So we're going to apply CSS in a best way and also show you where the place you have to paste that CSS when you're using the blog editor. Now let's add the group here. If I open this list view item, here is the group. Let's add the or select the group here. And before adding any custom CSS, if there is any options to add custom class or ID, it's a good practice. I would say must have options. You have to use class name here. And when you are adding any class name, make sure you are adding a prefix. So let's say I'm going to use a class name like a custom or let's add, let's say border background. So if there is any similar class name inside the theme or in the near future, if you are using any plugin and if it has the same class name like this one, then it will gonna create a conflict. And that's why we're gonna use a prefix as always. It's a good practice. The prefix, what I'm going to do uh, before the border, I would like to add, let's say RM. So I'm gonna add my name, which is Riyadh, and M means Riyadh Mahmud. Riyadh Mahmud, which is the short form here, RM. You can use your name, you can use your short form or whatever prefix you prefer, like your branding or your any kind of name you can use here. Now, this is the name here exactly. So I'm gonna copy this name and save. Now visit this page. And as you can see, it doesn't have the options. And also it has the border, let's reduce the border. Okay, go to the styles and you can see there is border. Let's re reset the border as well. So I just reset the border. Click save and now go to the page and reload. So as you can see, the border has been gone. Now, if I click over here, inspect. So you have to understand the inspect elements options from here. So when you want to edit or add any CSS on any specific place, you have to take your cursor at that place and on the right click from your mouse and go to the inspect. And you can see the inspect elements has a lot of code. We have to find out our own custom code. And I, as you remember that I have already copied my custom code, this one, I have already copy if you haven't copy you can simply copy and then go to the inspect element so first of all you have to find out that code here and i'm gonna press 
command A from my keyboard and paste the custom class name. And as you can see, when I paste the custom class name, there's a lots of code and it takes me exactly where the custom class added. So I have added the custom class name here inside this group block. And as you can see, it's clearly mentions that, hey Ria, this is your custom code. Not like human, I'm just saying here. So here is the custom class. And now if I hover over, you can see it's um, changing the color here based on my cursor activity, right? Now here is the custom class. Now what I'm gonna do, we found our custom class. The first step to found the custom class. And the second step is add or click on this plus icon to add new style or new style rules here. Now click on this plus icon. And as you can see, when I click on this plus icon, if you take a look at here, there is the class which is under the div then class and there is a lot of class that is added previously so we do not want to use all the classes from here we only want to use our class so we just select all of them and paste our class that we copy already and now if you take a look at here when you have to or when you want to use any class make sure you have added a dot before the class name which is very important many of you miss this part and start style designing then it will gonna not going to display the work that you have done here now hit enter and as you can see it's appearing here and on the right hand side it's displaying inspector style sheet this is very important and at the same time it's highlighted as a black color if i select any of the div item from the top it will gone it's not visible here and you might be wondering why it's gone. Maybe it's totally gone. It's not like that. It will be staying here until you reload this page. Now, if I select again, as you can see, it's back. Sometimes it might be displaying at the bottom area. Sometimes it might be displaying at the middle area. And most of the time it's displaying at the top inside this style tab. And there are several other tabs we are going to explore. But inside this elementor area, there is a lot of things that you can understand and you can explore. But this video is not for those uh, things. So we're going to only focus on CSS. Now click over here. And as you can see, it creates some space for us to write down. First of all, I'm going to add some padding here. So let's add padding 30 pixel. So I have added padding 30 pixel. That means I believe you know that padding top right bottom and left this is like a clockwise uh, area so we can add i'm not going to explain css here sorry so now we have added 30 pixel padding all around the sides and i'm going to add enter again i'm going to add border okay border one pixel solid red so i, I have added red border but if you want you can use um, color code as well let's add ed 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 which is a light color if you do not remember you can simply add and drag the border like let's make it a little bit visible so that you can understand what i'm doing here okay now let's add a background color fff that's it so as you can see we have added border we have added a background color and we have added a padding as well like this way you can add any kind of css literally any kind of if you understand pseudo element if you understand grouping css if you understand um like before after if you understand um css animation so you can apply or you can add any kind of custom features using css here a lot of opportunity but you have to understand the css first then you can use it but if you don't know css uh, comments below i will create a series tutorial about the css and hopefully you will be able to learn a lot of things about the css now let's click on the inspector style sheets it will take you to another place it's uh, the local editor i would say now if you reload this page it will be gone completely and these style sheets if i add more styles here so now let's say you want to add a hover effect when someone hover over uh, you would like to change the color by default gutenberg doesn't have a hover color here for group area let's say your client wants to add some hover effect let's make it a little bit interesting so what i'm gonna do i am going to take another or i'm gonna click plus again and paste my class then add dot and i'm gonna type here hover now let's add a background color here now as you can see the hover color which is not exactly black it's showing a little bit gray color that means if you want to make the hover active you have to navigate to the hover and click on hover then as you can see it's now activated it's now displaying the black color here so i'm gonna show you a little bit later about these features 
now as you can see the hover is gone right now if you scroll down and top it's not visible so we have added hover here but it's not visible and that's expected behavior because it's gone and when i hover over it should be appearing here you can only find that when i click over here you can only see this code here in this page but not inside the elements and then the styles tab how can you see this and edit here directly instead of the inspector style area all you have to simply navigate to the hover and click on hover that's it and scroll down you can see the hover is now appearing so sometimes you might be wondering hey i just write hover and it's gone it's not like that but i believe you have some idea right now so you have to practice yourself be patient spend some time and practice yourself now let's type here background um, red so i have selected the hover background red I, i'd like to use this color basically this one and let's change something more here now uh, on the default one rm background uh, rm border background i'm gonna add another color which is not color which is i'm gonna add transition 0.4 s a little bit of transition effect that i'm gonna implement here now the hover is activated and that's why the background color is visible so i'm not not going to activate this i'm going to disable this one from here and now if i take my cursor it's visible now i hope you understand how the hover color works so if you want you can change the text color as well and it will be a little bit of advanced if you don't know the css but this is completely beginners but still if you completely new then you can follow this tutorial no worry so now let's take a look at and understand what i did here just added a background hover and background color which is the hover now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this one and i'm going to add the text color let's say p so when i hover over the background the p should be white color as you can see the p is now displaying as a white color and same goes here uh, let's copy and use grouping comma hit enter and let's add h4 okay it's maybe let's take a look at here whether it's h4 or not it's h5 now you have to go back to the custom inspector style sheet again and let's choose h5 so as you can see it's appearing now and for svg icon if you take a look at here we are using an image so you can also change the image color as well so let me show you how you can change the image color on hover so go to the inspector style sheet again and copy this one again i'm not gonna use grouping so now you have to place some custom css code to make the image changes or image color changes on hover so i'm gonna write here filter and grayscale then bracket i'm going to add 100 percent at the same time i'm going to add spacing here and type brightness i'm going to add zero and also invert which is one and that's it so now if i hover over you can see it's now changing to the white color so i hope you understand how to add and how to apply custom css now it's time to use this custom css and save it inside your website now go to the inspector area again and copy all the css that we made here close this one so i'm copying uh, using my keyboard shortcut and now let's navigate to edit site i just open a new tab here and click on this styles tab close so make sure you have click on this styles tab when you click on this styles tab as you can see there is no options for css you have to click on these three dots to activate the additional css tab from here when i click over here it will directly take me to the css area let's paste the code here so we just paste all of our code and go back you can see the additional css is appearing here but it wasn't there previously when we navigate here or landed here click save and save it's updated now if i go back to my page and reload so as you can see the css is applied here now if you want you can use the same class all over the place and it will gonna work inside all other places here let me show you how let's reload this page first and the css is working here right so what i'm gonna do i'm going to copy the styles 
and paste here and as you can see it's working perfectly paste here so I just paste styles here here and what it does it just added if I go to the advanced if I select any of them from here go to the advanced you can see it adds additional classes besides that it also reduced or removed all the padding margin from here including the border and background color and now if I click save and reload this page so as you can see it added nice transition effect inside your websites so if you think your client wants something else when you're using the default Gutenberg block you can work like this way now let's activate to the Astra theme or a classic theme at the same time I'm gonna copy this code that is I have added inside the editor let's go back to the editor again oh, I think here is the editor yes so let's copy this code and I'm gonna activate another theme called Astra which is the classic theme so you can use any kind of classic theme now click on activate and when you activate the theme here you can see under the appearance there is an option called customize open a new tab now click on additional CSS and paste here the copy CSS that I copied from the previous theme click publish and now if I go to the page here and open this page in a new tab as you can see the style looks exactly similar even I'm using the Astra theme so I hope you understand how useful it is so if you have any other questions or if you'd like to learn any specific CSS or anything else regarding the custom CSS feel free to comments below thanks for watching